Rain432, and welcome to my next part of my Mega Man X playthrough. Today we're going to be taking on Spark Mandrel, that monkey looking dude with the mustache, and this uh, Flame Mammoth, this one that I clicked on, or er, selected just now. Flame Mammoth. I thought Mammoths went extinct, but I guess not in the Mega Man universe, and as you can see, this stage is not very flamey. <laughs> I'll look that one up. So, by taking out... S Chill Penguin, sorry, I forgot his name for a moment, we froze this stage. I'm not exactly sure why, but usually there would be lava down there, but now there's not, because we took out Chill Penguin. And here we have our last Dr. Light part. Usually there'd be lava shooting out the ground there. But anyway, this is a tricky jump, and one of the only reasons you'll need this headbutt thing. And here we are. This capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. So that's right, now we have our X-Buster better upgraded. And it can also do charge shots of regular weapons, which it could not do before. Now we have a nice purple shot. And maybe I'll, I'll show you a few of the we the other weapon charge shots later. I didn't know what I got down there. I'm there, sorry. Defeat these minor dudes. I had never had any idea what they really... I mean, I knew they were miners, but I didn't know what they were four in this area, and there's a heart tank there at the bottom, which would be inaccessible due to the lava, lava, sorry, but since we took out Chill Penguin, we can get it. There is one more part in this room, surprisingly, lots of upgrades here in this stage, and it is this way. You have to climb up here, take out the little miners who laugh at you when they can hit you. And now you're up here, take out the... I fell. Let me try to get back up there. Drop the one up. One up, sorry. Come on, I can get up there. I'm not that bad at games. And you're kidding. I fell. I fell. I fell. Let's try to get back up there, shall we? I didn't know I was this bad at this area. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Another one up. Extra man, whatever you want to call it. And we're back. Let's take these Metars out. And there's another one, um, extra, and I failed the jump. Wow. I feel really disappointed. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I skipped that there. And now we're up here. There's this sub tank. I already showed you what they were. They fill up your health when there's extra energy inside there. Now we have two subtexts. And now let's continue on, finally. Come on, we're almost there. So much faster when I'm not trying to get all those upgrades. <laughs> okay, so now we're up here. And there are these crusher things that will crush you. Do a lot of damage, so you have to get out from underneath them like I did a few times there. And now we're on to the next part of the stage. So while the ground may be icy, the there are still drippings of oil, I think. I have no idea what they are. And there are these guys with ma I think they're maces. And shields, and they killed me. I didn't know I was this bad at Mega Man. And I didn't know I would have to, would have to start by all the way back over here. So I'll show you, because why not? It won't take long. Those guys get squished when they get smashed. Squished when they get smashed, yeah, that makes sense. Their little sprites get smashed, or squished down. And let's hopefully not die to these guys with the maces. There we go. That would have killed me. And that's actually the reason I died last time, as you saw. So we're almost at the end of the stage, we just gotta take this one more guy out, and we're about to fight Flame Mammoth. 
So his weakness is the tornado weapon, the storm tornado, I believe it's called. And he has this on the floor, this little conveyor belt that he can switch the direction of. Let's see, he's jumping around there. Uh, making me fall, because he's so huge and fat. No offense to flame mammoth. And the special charged version of the storm tornado would be that. The upper tornado that you just saw. The one that goes above you. And when he makes that little call there, then it switches the thing. Or the conveyor belt. And we already beat him. He can also throw flames at you, which he might have done. And he can spill out oil. And if the flame hit the hits the oil, then it'll catch fire. But that's flame mammoth for you. And f Flame Mammoth, we get to the Fire Wave? Fire Wave. Alright, my memory isn't that bad yet. And that's cool. Let's move on to the next stage. Skip password. And next will be Smark Spark Mandrel. Sorry about that. And uh, usually he'd be the second one I do because he's weak to Chill Penguin. But, in this case, we decided to take out the other two first. Just to get the armor parts. But as you can see, this area is kind of wrecked. And it might look familiar, the parts. Because the airship crashed into it when we took down um, Storm Eagle. So... Yeah, there are these blackouts that happen all over the place, which wouldn't normally happen, uh, except in one area of the level. And there's a sea tank over here that we can't get yet. We'll get back here later. But anyway, there, there, there are these blackouts that'll happen all across the level that wouldn't normally happen, except in an area that we're about to get to. Um, just because we took out Storm Eagle. So this is the area where blackouts happen regularly, not just when you take out Storm Eagle. And so if it happens over here, don't worry about it. There's these enemies that are light, I guess. Bite? I, I've never been sure what they are. Um, but they'll come out of nowhere and surprise you. Blackouts do not- and that's the end of the blackout area. And we have a mini boss. Now this mini boss would regularly have that little thing it's shooting out, it would be electricity, but because we crashed the Storm Eagle's plane, jet, not plane, but his aircraft into this, then his electricity is gone. So that's nice. Pros and cons to crash crashing Storm Eagle. But mini boss is pretty simple other than that. He'll shoot out the electricity if you uh, we already beat him. If we hadn't taken out Storm Eagle. And he shoots out little bubbles that'll trap you. And then he bounces around. That's that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Now that we're done with that, the blackouts will return. Not is not natural. <laughs> natural. And uh, for this next part we have these cannons that'll shoot diagonal diagonal and then straight horizontally to where they are. And then these, what are they, cars? I don't know. But that's all to this area. Little steps here. Let's keep going. Take out these cars. And then I believe there's a heart tank up here. Uh, somewhere. Okay, up here. And you have to kind of dash jump to get that. Very carefully. And our health bar is pretty big compared to what it was back at the start of the game. X has already gotten improved, got, gotten so many upgrades already. And let's just continue through the stage. We're almost, almost the boss. And next we have an area that is another blackout section with those lights that come out of nowhere and surprise you. It also has these people from the, these little, what do I call them? Those little long-legged creatures, roly-polies with legs, that's it. But we're already at the boss. Alright, so Spark Mandrel's uh, weakness is the 
ice, the shotgun ice, and he invented a disease known as the spark mandrel syndrome. It um, freezes him every time the attack touches him, and yeah, this can make the boss fight drastically easier. I'm just, I, he would already be dead if I wasn't letting you, letting him show us all of his attacks. But, um, you can do that. You can jump climbing on, climbing on that stuff at the top. And then, he killed me. He killed me. I, the great Tenran432, died to one of the easiest bosses. And with his weakness as well? This is disappointing. I will not let it happen again. You already saw his moves, and now I'm not showing any mercy to Spark Mandrel, and I will make him die. <laughs> Just I don't know how that happened. Do not dis I did not I did not die to Spark Mandrel. Erase it from your memory completely. And let's let's just destroy part Spark Mandrel. Yeah. And like that we are done. And we got a special cool weapon. That you can you can use a few times. And I forgot what it was called. <laughs> let's see. The electric spark. <laughs> That's what it was. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace and sheep. Have a good day. Like and subscribe too.